Well, praise the Lord in Jesus' holy and blessed name. It is a glorious and blessed and beautiful day to be in Jesus. Oh, and amen. This is a ministry of Jesus Christ, Brother Thomas here with you today. And a powerful word, a powerful word that Paul shared with Timothy, we share with you. And we ought to be sharing with one another with great power and with great love and affection, with exhortation to it, very profoundly so. For the enemies of God have loud voices today. And they would drown out. They're the voices heard. And they are the enemies of God. They are the enemies of the body of Christ. And they stand against that which is of God and the things of God. And today, today, we must stand and proclaim the truth with power. In 2 Timothy, he's, Paul is giving Timothy a young pastor, one who traveled with him. Yes, Timothy that was with him is now pastoring a church. And Paul gives him some advice, some good counsel. We'll begin it in chapter 3 with this. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them, and that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. I charge ye therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing. And his kingdom. Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. And amen to this. And amen to this. For these are the same kind of days we're living in today. This exhortation, the truth of these words, are as true for you and I today as they were for young Timothy when this was written, when Paul shared it with him. And it is a powerful, 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 powerful truth. So easy today. So very easy today to get sidetracked to get talked into listening to old wives' fables and the teachings of the world and to mix them in and do those things. Back in chapter 2, he exhorted Timothy, Study to shew thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, but shun profane and vain babblings. For they will increase unto more ungodliness. What does he say over here? And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall tur be turned unto fables. And that 
we see daily. And that we see daily. We see a compromised word. We see a compromised truth. We see lies called truth. Paul called Timothy, as we call each other today, to reject that and to defend the truth and to stand up for the way of God. Yes, indeed. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, instruction, and righteousness. Yes. God breathed. All scripture is God breathed. And while he was giving Timothy the Old Testament specifically in reference here for the New Testament had not been compiled and put together with the Old yet, we have both. We have both in this book we call the Bible, the inspired, God-breathed Word of God. And today, it is needed in its pure truth. Not watered down versions of it, but the truth uncompromised, spoken forth boldly, honestly, truthfully, with conviction. And it is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, for reproof, Pointing out that which is in, <coughs> excuse me, in error, in error for correction, for setting it right and making it right. That's what God's word is for. Yes, to establish sure doctrine, truth not plucked out scripture verses, not verses that make things say what we want them to say, but that's not what they say in their context, but the truth, a very powerful truth indeed. I charge you therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead at the appearing and his kingdom there will be that judgment, it will come. And it is not too far off. It is not too far off. Every day it gets closer and closer. And we see the wickedness of it. We see the evil of it. We see the world falling ever deeper into chaos and sin and rebellion and hatred of all that would be called good, all that would be called righteous, all that would be called right in the sight of God and is rejected by them. But we are called nonetheless to preach the truth to tell them the truth in every way, in all our words and our actions, that we stand, we talk, we walk in the truth of God's word. Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season. Yes. Be instant, in season and out of season. Told to be ready to give an account of our the, the faith wherein we stand. To be ready to do that. To be with those who instruct, give us the guidance, 
to do that. But, be, but I, I love the Lord and I, I talk about him as much as I can, but I don't know that much. Then say what you know. Then say what you know. And be with those who can grow you, support you, build you up. Look to those who can strengthen you in that where you are weak. Indeed. The Lone Rangers, those who go out with only themselves and have no support or brothers and sisters around them to whom they give an account, are often the ones who fall into error and are easily destroyed by the work of the enemy and the voice of the enemy who takes them apart and shreds them because they know not. So get with those who do. Share with them and hear them. Hear their counsel. Receive that counsel and walk in that counsel. For God has put them in your life for a purpose. We are all accountable. Should be. Keeps us in line. Keeps us on that straight. We start to think about things and look at them in ways that we shouldn't be looking at them. We've gotten off track and astray. When we have people around us, brothers and sisters around us, to keep us, get us back on the right. Keep us going in the right direction. They're there for encouragement, for strengthening. There for sharing in the truth, the powerful truth, the true word of God, spoken honestly, openly, with the power of God's Spirit. Indeed. Oh, indeed. In season and out, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long-suffering and doctrine. Yes, indeed. What connections to the world, what connections to this demonic nonsense going on in the world today have we? None. We should be standing apart. Standing apart for the Lord. Unique amongst them all. As our message is one that is unique. It's a message of salvation in Jesus Christ and Christ alone. And that is a unique message that none of them out there proclaim. But we in the body of Christ. But we in the body of Christ. And it's the only message that saves. And it's the message they need to hear. To believe and receive. with all long-suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. It's all around us. People not listening to the word of God. People not trusting God's holy word. But those who have picked, and pulled, and twisted, and say, see, come over here. We have it right. Those over there in that word they have it wrong. Herein is happiness. Herein is, and they are 
pulled away by the lies of the world, the lies of the devil. The lies are of the devil. He's the father of lies. But God is truth. God's word is truth. The gospel is truth. The word of God. The word of God. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. Don't waste the opportunities. Don't waste the blessings and doors that God opens, but stand strong. Stand in the faith. Don't listen to the mockers and the scoffers, but the God who is truth. For their words are lies of hate. God's word is truth in love. They would hate what we love. And they would hate you. And they would use you, abuse you, and throw you away. God loves you, nourishes you, and draws you into his kingdom. They serve gods of wood and clay, made of their own hands. We serve a living God who made us. But praise the Lord. Be not ashamed today to stand and proclaim the truth. And regardless of the mockers and the scoffers, the naysayers and the haters, God says, preach the truth. Be not afraid, but stand and see, and they will come. Those to whom God is reaching out to, those to whom the Spirit is convicting, those to whom God is drawing will come. And the haters and the naysayers will make their choice. They will make their choice. And hopefully, they'll make that choice to repent and turn and come to the Lord in all fullness and truth, blessing and glory. Praise the Lord. So today, Come out from among them. Stand that they might see. See the difference. See the choice. The true choice. Not the false choices that they offer. But the true choices that God offers. In all his truth. His truth is beautiful. Praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. Today, be instant in season and out. And praise the Lord in all your things and everything you say and everything you do and all that is your life. And know this it won't be much longer. So be of good cheer. Be not afraid, but be of good cheer. For the time of our Lord's coming draws near. Won't be long now. And Jesus will appear. And we shall see. We shall see him as he is. And they shall know that he is the King of Kings. And Lord of Lords, a 
truth we already know. A truth so glorious, so powerful, it's awesome indeed. May God richly bless you, brothers and sisters, strengthen you, give you the words, be with you, walk with you. Ah, much fruit may be produced. These days, these horrible days, this lost and dying world. May the beauty of the gospel of Jesus Christ shine forth and proclaim his truth in your life, in your heart, and from your mouth proclaimed that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen and amen.